So a similar trend I keep seeing is eyeshadows, eyeshadow on your brows, so let's try it. I have already basically laminated and filled in my brows, but we're going to fill them in a little bit more. See, this color is even close to my... I mean, it's okay. Let's try this color. I just kind of want to paint them on. She made it look so much easier in the video. I swear they always make it look easier in the video. I try to never do that to you guys, but I have no idea if I do that or not. Let's see. Just gonna get that excess off. Mm. It's not going very good. I think I should take a darker color, honestly. And she just kind of uses, she flicks it on something and then uses the access for this part right here so that it's like less. But that's okay, just not as good as hers, but we'll try the other side. I wonder if I have a better brow color. Like, I have another palette that I'm thinking of. If I can find that palette, I think I can do my brows a lot better. But anyways, I'm going to use the little trick and flip it. Flick it on something and then just kind of get that front part. This side actually looks pretty good. Because I use more eyeshadow, I feel like. Let me just look and see what other colors I have. Just one second. So I found a better brown in this pharmacy palette. It's called Mirage. I'm going to try that. So we just kind of brush the brows. Oh, that looks so much better. We just kind of paint the brows on. And every part but the front. And then you flick it off on something. Like the lid of a can or like a piece of tissue paper and then you just do the front like that and then carve it out so my brows are already carved out but we will try it we will try to perfect this look so <laughs> let's go to the other side i don't know how she makes it look so good on the front so sharp over here But then so like light at the front, just like a flick of the color. Like that kind of, I don't know. I mean, they do look a lot better. Okay, let's carve them out and see how they look that way. So we're gonna take this brush and pharmacy's concealer and just kind of carve them out. very lightly that. That. I'm gonna blend it up a little bit to get some of my up and blend it down a little bit and then get a bigger concealer brush, this one, close my eyes and kind of blend that all in. I 
you got a little bit too close to the front right there. Like, should have just left that blank right there. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to hate on it. Let's try the other side. This side looks a lot better some, for some reason, even though it's not like perfect. So it looks a lot better. I mean, none of this is perfect. None of this is perfect, but it's looking better. I am not good. drawing up brows. I'm gonna go over it one time. I do like using the eyeshadow like it's very soft and I don't know it just seems to work for brows. This part come out a little bit with some less color. I think I figured out my new method of doing my brows. Well, I already have a method, and then I did another method over them, but I mean, it's pretty good. It looks good, and I like it. What do you guys think? I know I'm supposed to cut off the talon and make my own tail, but I'm not that fancy, okay? <laughs> Don't forget I love you guys so much.